So Tina and I are here at Alliance with Joe, and he is going to give us a, a little pre-sneak peek. I thought you were going to do our intro. I think that is oh. the intro. You know. <laughs> <laughs> That's the blooper. blooper. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, let's okay. do it. Yep. Hey, folks, I'm Tony. And I'm Tina. And, and we're, we're TNT RV. Well, we're here at Alliance with Joe, and he is going to give us a little sneak peek of their Alliance Avenue travel it's trailer. <laughs> Wait. It's brand new for Alliance, and he's going to tell us a little bit about it. Yep, so this is a sneak peek of the Avenue Travel Trailer 332RL, and we're going to take a step inside. All right. Some of the weights and measurements before we head inside. The hitch weight is 1,200 pounds. Your max carrying capacity is 11,950. Your empty weight is going to be about 10,200 pounds. Your cargo carrying capacity is going to be about 1,750. The length of this coach is 3711. Your width is going to be 101 inches or 8 feet 5 inches and the height is going to be 10 feet 7 inches. You have 71 gallons of fresh water, 124 gallons of gray water and 53 gallons of black tank. And then you're going to have a 400 watt solar panel on the roof and a 60 amp charge right, control. Right, let's check this baby out. Okay, well, Joe. Welcome to our 332RL. So obviously it stands for rear living. We got some guests back here. <laughs> and this is Tony and Peggy. From stressless camping. Thanks for letting us crash your photos. <laughs> <laughs> so one of the things that you're going to notice, um, especially as people start to explore the Alliance line, is there's going to be a similarity in the in the design and the decor of the insides. Mm -hmm. So right. our Paradigm and our Avenue series are going to kind of blend with each other with this we call it harmony linen decor. Um, kind of balancing a lot of those natural earth tones and some of the modern designs That's that you're going to find. Um, you're going to have solid surface countertops all the way at every single countertop. Uh, one really thing, one thing that I really like personally is the, is the fascia and how streamlined and edgy they are and they just look aesthetically pleasing. Um, you're going to have a large stainless steel sink. And one thing to notice about this is the trap's actually off to the right, right? I did notice that. The reason for that is because we actually found a space to put a trash can because one thing in travel trailers is there's usually never a great spot for a trash can. You have it out. And if you have a dog, what do dogs love to do? Get in your trash can. Oh, At least I have, have a big, dogs, so I have a big dog that does that. <laughs> okay. um, then you got a nice, you know, hutch area that can be, as you were talking earlier, a coffee bar slash wine area. Yes. Yep. Love it. You got nice storage above. Uh, there is power over here so you can plug some things in. Um, large pantry right here with adjustable shelves and 110 power in there. So if you need to charge anything, great spot to charge. That's nice. Uh, you, that lights up too. You know, yeah, it lights, it has an automatic light in there. You have a great 12 volt refrigerator and I believe it's 16 cubic feet. Let me confirm that really quick. Yeah, 16 cubic foot, 12 volt refrigerator. Wow. Um, so very, very residential feel. You're gonna have a 30 inch residential microwave, which is really hard to find in a travel trailer. And then you got your three burner cooktop oven. Uh, one of the nice things too is we upgraded our drawers to have this birch glaze hardwood and then we added the silverware divider in oh, there. Oh, I like that. And then it slides yeah. out of the way so you can put more stuff down there. Yes. Really cool. um, really nice. Then as you kind of come out of the kitchen, you're going to come into your entertainment space or rear living space. More storage, 5500 5, BTU electric fireplace. Take that chill off. Uh, and then you got a nice TV and something really cool about our, our audio system this year. Instead of having that like sound bar that's kind of oh. unesthetically pleasing. We went with the all new Klipsch audio system. Oh. And it's actually zoned for two locations. Usually okay. it's inside, outside, but no one wants to listen to anyone else's music, right? right. And now right. speakers are so dime a dozen today right. that what we decided to do is actually dual zone it into an A, which is your living space, and B in your bathroom. Because you are singing in the shower, and I know you are. <laughs> um, That's awesome. And then uh, back here, obviously, you got your sleeper sofa. It's pretty large. It's um, very comfortable, would you say? I would say. Uh, and then what's next to you, Tony? Oh, well, let's see. Oh, it's a bit of storage. Yes. Yeah, it's a bit of storage. That's a ton yeah, of storage. Yeah, it's a good amount Jeez. of storage. Yeah. And then down below, you'll notice on the end tables, you got USB power, both A and C charge type. And it's soft close drawer. And it's a, and all, oh, that's one thing. All of our cabinetry is soft close. 
and they all have magnetic catches too. Um, I like these little cabinets here. I think these are slick. Oh, yeah. I like it. They are slick. You're right. <laughs> Shot. <laughs> two <laughs> shots. I wanted two shots. So. Right, right, right. Uh, you got your reclining seats directly across your entertainment center, and then a nice dinette space. And again, check out the height of our slide outs. Yes. Yeah. These are these are slick. <laughs> I am not banging <laughs> my, my head on these at all. So this is really nice. Yeah. Not gonna bang your head. You also are gonna have a four person dinette now. This is that free floating dinette. I have it strapped together here still from transport. But one thing that I really like to touch about this piece is it's not, it doesn't have that pedestal. So you're not going to knock oh, your knee yes, when you're down here. That's nice. So um, even when you're sitting across, you're even gonna, when you're, you're sitting across be like, and you're going to be able to sit four people here pretty comfortably. Yeah, pretty and then you got these large atrium windows to really observe your campsite that open 50% of the way, maximize nice. airflow, maximize light. Nice. You're camping. You want outdoors a little bit, right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then this this ottoman here bench ottoman actually moves so you can move it around the coach wherever you need it and then it has more storage inside so you could put it in front of that couch right there and that absolutely could be the yep absolutely and then as you take a step towards the front of the camper you're going to find a large bathroom here i'll go into the shower to show how big it is so we got a large shower. You know, I'm about 5'10", 210, and I'm fitting in here very comfortably. Glass shower door, nice large XL stainless steel sink, because we one of the things that customers have constantly said about travel trailers is why tiny sinks. So big sink, lots of storage, uh, porcelain toilet. And then one of a feature that is just so unthought of, but so necessary. I love this. Trash can. Nice. That's pretty cool. <laughs> and then again, more linen space. Yeah. Yeah. You could actually use that for your dirty laundry too. Hundred percent. There's lots of places, lots of units don't have space for your, your Absolutely laundry. Absolutely, you could. So that would work. Yep. Uh, you do have an illuminated light switch in here too. So like, if it does get dark, it stays lit, so you can see where oh, it goes. Cool. And then the front bedroom, actually a really cool space. Um, so you have a large queen bed. And I think you can actually option in a king if you want to. Um, I like the queen because you can walk around. And walk around a lot easier. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And so, and you, you have a lot of space over here. So I'm standing sideways and I'm getting, I'm getting through here without having to like turn yeah. and get tight. Uh, so you can easily get your sheets on. You got your 110 power, your USB power, nice nightstands, storage above the bed. Directly across from it, you're gonna find a four dresser drawer. And my favorite part being a shoe guy is tuck your shoes out of the way so your oh. dogs or kids don't step on them. Yeah, that's uh, nice. And then on top, you have hidden storage, deep hidden storage to protect your valuables. And then nice drawers in here too that again, continue that support. And all of our drawers in every Lions product support up to 90 pounds. Wow. Yep. Nice, very nice. And then behind me, huge closet. I mean, here, I'll just. <laughs> It's kind of a walk-in. It's a walk-in closet. <laughs> it counts. <laughs> um, and then behind these doors is actually either storage or you can put a stack of a washer dryer. Wow. Okay. Nice. And the kitchen island is actually prepped for a dishwasher as well if you needed it. Oh, I actually was wondering about that because yes. it looks like there is one under the stove. It's but not, not, but okay. it's prepped. Okay. Yes. Awesome. Yep. That's cool. So sure. that's the Avenue 332RL. Thank you so much. That was amazing. <laughs> well, there you have it, folks. I hope you found this video helpful, useful, entertaining, possibly. And if you did, I'd appreciate it if you'd subscribe to TNT RVing. Yes, give us a big thumbs up, a like, and we'll see you at the campground. And thanks again, Joe, for yeah. taking thanks us around. Guys. And I hope you guys join the alliance. <laughs>